Hey yo, what's up guys? Girl Games here, coming back from a week of not posting any videos, bringing you a new game called The Greedy Cave. Now, I am here to say I am sorry about the not posting for an entire week. I, and it was even after I, even after I post a video, I'm going to start doing videos more often than I went off for a week. It was just, it was a crazy week for me. And... I don't know. It's a lot happened that week. I was just kind of a busy. But um yeah, I'm coming at you with you now this new game called The Greedy Cave. Um I'm not gonna do a lot in it because basically in, in this game here I'll show you. Look at this though. Look at this. I wanna show you this. Look at this cool detail they put. Look at that. That is that's cool. That's a, such a cool feature. But I just wanna show you that real fast. Let's get into this. Um just the reason I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really show you like full gameplay is mostly because when I go in the cave it's like it's kind of never ending it's a, it's a thing till you die that's the cave well, hold on yeah you got all these players it's it's it's, a, it's an online game too but like the tavern you know you actually have your own profile which is weird yeah there's like this own it's like it has its own online profile thing and it's very weird I mean I actually did play this game from before it was like when it first came out, it's like a lot of this stuff is actually kind of like all this detail stuff. Like, it wasn't even here. Oh, I got an achievement. Oh, yeah, level 10. I, ha yeah, I had started, I played a few few rounds in the cave, you know. I have played a tiny bit and I got some stuff ready. So, I don't know, just better gameplay. But look at this. So, you got this lady. Oh, that's right, I already done my Wheel of Fortune, but. Like once they get this wheel of fortune, or you can go to her, you can buy some really crazy ass stuff from her. It's really cool, you know. And potion. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. Potion I'm forgetting is really good, but it's so expensive. And you got him. I'll teach you. Gotta talk to you guys about him later because he's more complicated. But yeah, there's. I mean, this game is actually like really fun. I mean, and I just want to show you some gameplay of it. It's been a while, you know. I'm just, I don't know why, just more nervous. What's this? Dream World. I actually didn't notice this. This is new. Alright. Damn, this is not a place for you, kid. Shut up. Alright, so we're going to go in the cave. We're going to just start at stage one. Just because, you know, because at stage one, um, the enemies are a little bit easier, and I can just grind out XP and the kind of potions so I can last longer in stage 11 and above. Now, as I do, as, I, as if I remember from one... Every twenty, uh, every twenty like levels you go through, there's a boss. I'm pretty sure. But look at this. Okay, what you that guy you just saw that I was just passed. That was a merchant. Um, I'll show you him next time I see him. But look at this. So basically, oh wow, look at that. I already got my escape scroll. And let me tell you about the escape scroll. You need that escape scroll in order to live out of this fucking this hell hole. Cause in this place, if you die, you lose everything and you start over. Not like completely start over, but everything you had in that cave, you'll you'll it'll be gone. So here we go, just going through. Yeah, basically find defeat these enemies, you know, get these like oh shit, get these power bones, you know, get these chests, and you know, and as you as if if you like defeat the enemy, you can get sometimes get like like a post and like I just did, or you, and you get XP and gold. And the uh, XP is, of course, for leveling up, and the gold is for buying things, like from the merchant, or just from uh, other few things I will show you later on when I play this more. I think I'm going to do a live stream of this game, just mostly because, um, it can be, it, this, like, going through this can, like, be a long time. Like, last night, I was going levels 1, 2, like, I went to level, like, stage 15, which says up there and it literally took like more than a half an hour I'm like oh my god how am I gonna do a video on this and I was like alright live stream I do have a live streaming app now like it's the YouTube gaming app I'm pretty sure you're there's a live stream option it's like oh oh my god yes and sometimes in these undergrounds you can find like hidden chambers oh hold on guys <laughs> man that was nasty alright back to this um this blue chest I'm not gonna open it because there's nothing, but you have to spend like 50 crystals to open it, but since it's like, I'm later on level, like stage one, there's nothing good in it, like at all. So it'll just be a waste. And all these, all these items, just like the imp stool and 
the bat wings and the instool tiny teeth those are used for enchanting and with, with these if you find an enchantment table what you do like every five levels you'll be able to like make give some extra power to your um to your um your equipment like the equipment like all this stuff see like this one i give like i give like extra power which came from the tiny teeth i save i save these mostly because of the attack i always try to get extra attack because with more attack it's gonna be a lot more easier with all this um with all these enemies and after you level up you get these um you get a skill point and here you get to go on the bottom here or the top you see the top is the, the top's better mostly because it doesn't take as much skill points to get a new skill but like every i think four levels you get a new skill so like my first one i got the siphoning strike i uh, i deal 100 percent more damage physical damage and restore 50 like i restore basically 40 percent more health of the damage i dealt or i could have chosen heal which is restore 60 plus power fit 300 percent 350 percent health now, i didn't like that one because that one cost more mana than this one but then i was like okay done with that then we're gonna go down here uh, and if you ever do end up playing this game Upgrade your extra XP. It's worth it. And I got trap resistance. That's one. You don't want this arm trap. You want trap resistance. Better than this one. Because this one's passive. And it's not costing any mana. Which you are very limited to. Unless you got any potions. Alright. Um. Let's see. Okay. I think. I, I'm pretty sure I explored this all. Uh. I can't go down there. But I'm just already here. So. And like. This goes on forever. Like. There's a. There's normal. Nightmare and then hell. So normals, um, there's like, if I remember, there's like a hundred stages. I think, if I if I remember right, there's a hundred stages in normal. Same thing with nightmare and hell. So there's three hundred stages in total to complete, basically complete it, and it's hard. I am telling you, dude, this game is just so addicting, but it is like so. It's I don't know what what it is. Like it looks boring. From this point of view, but if like if you play it and you actually like get to know the game, it like it gets like, like oh my god, it just turns so addicting. Look at this. Ooh, I got. Oh yeah. New fun fact. Uh huh. Everything. So you see all these things that uh, like have this, but you suddenly see these things have the kind of the gold, gold around them. If you're if um if your um item does not have the, like that gold thing around it, it will not come out of this case because everything that comes out of this case have to has to be gold has to be a gold or above here yeah, let's see 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 how it has blue outline yeah they would not come out of this cave if I don't gold and touch it and now what I mean by that damn it something trap you sometimes you'll find these golden touch statues I'm trying to find one but it looks like I'm not gonna find one you can find these golden touch statues and like you can you can turn any any item that, that does not have a golden enchantment to it um and basically turn into gold. I'm trying to find one before. Oh, look at this! Oh my! I'm only on stage two. I already got two of them. That's actually pretty weird. Just saying. Um, come on. I'm actually trying to find a gold statue for you guys so I can show you. Looks like it's not gonna be one this level. So, uh, I might not be able to show you. I might not be able to find one. But sometimes they appear on levels. And so, let's go through here. I'm not gonna open that blue chest once again because nothing good. And if you honestly, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. If you do play this game, do not buy the, do not buy chest until you get to like, past level stage ten. All right, come on. Oh yeah. Also, as you progress, new enemies start to appear. Ooh. Come on. Come on. See the guys with the kind of like that golden, that golden circle around them. That means they're kind of like special enemies. They kind of give you like more gold and XP, but they have they have a lot more health. Oh, there it is. There's statue. So this is what I'm talking about. So these right here, if you tap on it, it'll take you to your inventory and all this stuff that's highlighted. It's, you can enchant it. So what I'm gonna chant is the torn bag, just so because I can I can either get extra gold level one or extra XP. And with extra XP, oh my god, it's really useful. And so yeah, that was the that was what I was talking about the golden statue. And as as you can tell, you have to pay. For your extra, oh my god, a thousand crystals for another one? God. So you have to pay for that, have extra inventory, of course. The first one's 500 gold. Then the next one's a thousand crystals, which is a little off. 
which is not good, because, and well, it's not hard to get crystals, because you can watch videos, like, I literally got, like, 500 crystals from watching just videos, and you got 15 crystals each from each video, it took a while, but it was worth it, but, um, yeah, there's not really much I want to show you, because, I mean, I'm just not that far into it, when I last played it, when this game was kind of new, yeah, well, I was pretty far into it, like, it didn't have all this, I didn't have all this stuff, though. And so, I'm going to show you get out here, see that escape scroll, escape scroll I got, click on that, go back to town. And it'll show you everything you bring back, because everything that has gold on it, it'll come back with you. And so, that's how you get out of the cave. If you don't have that escape scroll, you're, you're kind of screwed, just saying. And you usually find them in your first few levels, just saying, like. It's, it's, they always have them, there's not, there's never gonna be a time where it, one would not ever appear. But, um, yeah, there's not a lot to show you, I'm just, just cause, you know, I, I really can't show you much cause of how long it's gonna take me to go through all that. Cause look at, it, 10 minutes, we want, like, more than 10 minutes, we already went through only two levels. Two, like, two or three levels, I forgot which one, but it was like, three stages, that's it. And it was, it was 11 minutes into the video, like, so I'm gonna have to do a live stream. And to be honest... It's probably going to be more than an hour long, just knowing how long it takes. So, that's all I have for you guys today. Just wanted to show you this really cool game. I ain't going to be doing more videos on it. I'm going to see a live stream only because, like I said, how long it takes. But thank you guys so much for watching. You know, I'm sorry about the not posting, you know. Um, I was, I don't know. You're just, I guess, never in the mood to make a video. So, I don't know what happened. But thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video.